Well, hi there, folks. It's Matt Hayson here reporting on our property market. Now, the great auction clearance rate debate has resurfaced this week. Now, last Saturday, Domain reported a preliminary auction clearance rate in Sydney sitting at 88.7%. They also cited this was the highest auction clearance rate Sydney had recorded since June 14 in 1997. Now, this media report caused a frenzy of conversations through the market during the week. But then on Wednesday, SQM Research released their auction data for Saturday, suggesting the clearance rate was actually 72.6%. Now that's 18% lower than what Domain had reported on the Saturday. Now clearly, the media has a responsibility to report accurately on what's happening in the market. On the Domain report, what occurred during the course of the week is we're having many conversations with buyers. We're starting to feel the market was overheating and we're pulling out. Conversely, a number of sellers are starting to overinflate their expectations, adding hundreds of thousands of dollars onto their asking price because they feel the market's having a bull run. So I think the media need to be very cautious with their reporting because they could be responsible for overcooking the conditions. Now, last week we had one of our strongest auctions for 2021. That was at 42 Waterview Street in Balmain. Now, this was sold by Peter Gordon and Ralph Deher. Now, in any normal market, we would expect to see three to maybe five interested parties. Well, last Saturday, there were 30 registered bidders and the property sold under the hammer for $2.65 million. Now, that is a 47% increase from the initial buyer's guide of 1.8. And then also during the week, we sold seven Justin Street in Lilyfield off market. Now what's very interesting about this particular sale is almost 12 months to the day, we sold that property under the hammer at auction for 2.765 million. Now it's resold this week for 3.1. Now that's a 12% increase in the 12 month period. And in our view, that's very reflective of the house price growth we've seen across the area in that time period. And then finally, a lot of buyers have been talking about a limited supply of property on the market, but REA data has revealed that there's actually been a 23.7% increase in the number of properties listed and sold in New South Wales this year against the corresponding period in 2020. Now, what we thought was there was a surge of property that came onto the market early in the year as a number of sellers wanted to take advantage of the heated market conditions. However, in the last week or so, we've just started to see listings tighten up and we suspect that buy demand will certainly outweigh the supply of property at least until Easter. So folks, that's all we've got time for. We've got some great properties coming online this week. Again, some great properties going under the hammer and our entire team looks forward to seeing you out and about. Thanks for watching. Oh,